with James chapter 2. James chapter 2, where my brethren have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect to persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in royal raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, it's not what you think, the bright, colourful clothing, uh, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou here, or sit un here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you, and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called, by the which ye are called? If ye fulfil the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced or convicted of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So, if we live in this world, say we, uh, we steal something, and we think that we're very good living people, but we've stolen something, well, therefore, we're guilty of the whole law. It means that we haven't got a leg to stand on as far as God is concerned. And that's the point. We've got to understand we are guilty of sin before the law. But the Lord wants to forgive you of all of your sins this other, my friend. And if you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the world, if you put your faith in him, your soul will be saved. That's what God wants. He wants to save every one of us. Because if we do not receive salvation, we'll be in a place of damnation when we die. That place is called hell and the lake of fire for eternity. God does not want you to go down to hell on the lake of fire, my friend. And that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to be our saviour. He's the one that wants to save your soul, my friend. Will you come to Christ to be saved? Will you put your faith alone in him? The one who to know is life eternal. Yeah, it says here, For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, and yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that has shown no, showed no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and have not words, can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you shall uh, say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needed to the body, what doth it profit? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. Sorry. Uh, show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The demons also believe and tremble. Do the demons know that there is one God? There's only one true and living God. We see him fully displayed in the person of Jesus Christ. The one who was crucified for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried. But praise God the third day he rose again according 
to the scriptures. He shed his precious blood upon the cross. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Have your sins been forgiven? Are you at peace with God? Have you put your faith in Jesus Christ to become a child of God? Now the Bible says, we are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So you've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to be in heaven. The word be in heaven apart from Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. He said, I am the way, not a way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And we mustn't think that God's our Father. He's not. Unless we be born again. We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So you've got to put your faith in Christ to become a child of God so that you can enter into heaven. So, faith is shown by our works. It's not works to get to heaven, but it's works that display the fact that we do have inward faith. It's the outward show of our inward faith. It's got nothing to do with getting to heaven whatsoever. I mean, good works are good. Now, if you do good works, that's great. But you can't get to heaven by doing good works. You must understand that. The only way we can get to heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Acts 4.12 plainly says, Neither is there salvation in any other. There is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only Saviour. There's no way that we can get to heaven by any other way apart from our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who loved us enough to die upon the cross. But wilt thou know, O great man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works his faith, uh, by, and by works was faith made perfect or complete? And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see uh, then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So we see here, this is God's definition of death. For as the body without the spirit is dead. I don't care what the medical profession say if they say people have died, because if their spirit hasn't left their body, they have not died as far as God is concerned. So it makes no difference. You might say medically dead, but not as far as God is concerned. When our spirit and soul leave our body, that is the moment we die. But the point is this, are you ready to die? If you were to die right now, would you be in heaven? Now the only way you can get to heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no other way to get to heaven apart from Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have the Son of God? Have you put your faith in Him? The one who to know is life eternal. Eternal life is found not in a man like religion, it's found in a person. I think of when Simeon took the Lord Jesus Christ up in his arms. He said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. As I said, salvation is in the person of Jesus Christ. If we have the Son, we have life. And we're not talking about physical life. We're talking about spiritual and eternal life. That life that can only come through faith in the Son of God. 
We've got to put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to be in heaven. We cannot get there apart from him. He is the light of life. Yes, I am the light of the world, he said. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So, if we have Christ, we have everything. Everything that God is offering unto us. He's offering us everlasting life. He's offering us salvation from our sin. Salvation from the wrath of God. You see, we're heading down to hell by default. God does not want that for you. He wants to save you from going down to hell. Because going down to hell is awful. It's not what God wants for any one of us. And there's an eternal torment in the lake of fire and brimstone where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where their word dieth not, the fire is not quenched. Oh, my friend, God does not want you to go there. That's why the Father sent the Son to be the saviour of the world. Is he your saviour? You need to make him yours personally. Without that personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ, we are going down to hell. And God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants you to be in heaven. And the only way to be in heaven is if you put your faith in Jesus Jesus Christ.